JVs! This is John again and welcome aboard to my channel. For today's video is about sa mga gustong magtrabaho sa parkour, interesado, or just curious lang na ano ba talaga ang meron sa cruise ship. Alam ko marami na mga katanungan or marami nagtatanong kung paano ba talaga mag-apply, mag, um, anong mga preparations, anong kailangan, and some of that I already answer on my another blog. I will put down the description below kung hindi ka pa nakapanood. But before that, I would like to ask you, if you really want to work in cruise ship, then I have some questions for you to answer before ka mag-apply sa barko. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga new video. So if you are ready, let's begin! is not a job for everybody. Hindi para pigilan ka or i-discourage ka but for you to prepare what you will expect pag nagtatrabaho ka na sa batko. Number one question, are you ready to be away from home? Like, I mean, long period of time? Siguro nagtatanong kayo, ilang months ba talaga yung trabaho sa barko? Merong 6 months, 8 months, and 10 months. Siguro naisip mo na, ay, ang dali lang yan, 6 months, 8 months, 10 months, but without day off. Yes. Walang day off pag nagtatrabaho ka sa barko. Siguro may day off pag yung mga high position na. Pero yung mga like ako, mga normal lang talaga ng mamamaya ng barko. Walang, sorry to say, but walang day off. And isa pa is lack of communication. Minsan wala kasing signal. And mostly sa barko, ang mahal ng internet. Based on my experience, yung internet namin, it's 1 gig. Like 1 GB is equivalent to 10 euro. So magkano na yung 10 euro? 10 euro. Yes, pag, of course, doon mahal talaga kung ikakonvert mo sa Philippine money. Pero sabi nila, yung 1 gig na 10 euro, mura lang yun kaysa sa ibang barko. Some of my friends, I asked, sabi nila, yung internet nila sa barko, it's 100 MB is equivalent to 10 euro. So, ganun, katindi, kamahal ang mga internet natin sa barko. Okay, pero, makakommunicate mo naman sila kahit papano. Basta lang, be patient. Okay? Actually, hindi ako nag avail kasi sa 1, 10 euro, 1 GB. At saka parang yung, yung, yung kung bago ka palang nag-iipon ka, parang ang laki na, ba Lalo na pag bagong sampa ka, makakonvert. Hindi talaga maiiwasan na ikakonvert mo yung peso sa euro. So, ay, amahal naman ito. Ganun, ganun yun. Pero, minsan, may free internet naman sa port. But, yun nga lang, not everyday is port day. Minsan, marami maraming sea days, sea days, depende sa biyahe nyo. At kung magka-port day naman, kung hindi mo IPM, I mean, import money number, pwede kang lumabas. So, makakalanghap ka, makaka makakasagap ka ng free internet support. Yun. So, that's the chance para makakommunicate ka na sa pamilya mo. Pero, hindi lahat ng puerto may free internet. Uh, meron pa namang isang way para makakommunicate ka sa pamilya mo. You can buy SIM kasi sa iba-ibang puerto, may mga SIM din silang pwede mo, pwede mo mabili. At saka, may internet na yun. Parang 10 gig, 10 gig, it's 10 or 15 euro. Nakalimutan ko. 10 or 15 euro, pwede din yun. Pero, yun lang, pag nasa barko ka, pag nasa deck 1 ka, yung mga cabin kasi natin is nasa deck 1, deck 2, deck 3. So, hindi na nakakasagap ng signal. So, hindi mo magagamit siya. So, magagamit mo lang siya pag nasa open deck ka. At hindi mo magagamit siya pag nasa sea day. So, tiis-tiis muna. Pero, meron pang isang way para makakommunicate ka sa mga mahal mo sa buhay. Meron din kaming card. Tinatawag na calling card. Yung mga normal na calling card. So, sa isang card, it's pwede ka makatawag ng 30 minutes. Good for 5 euro. So, ganun. Kaya, iba budget mo yun. So, nasa sa iyo na yan if how you will communicate your friends, family, at home. Internet with 10 euro. SIM internet internet, sa makabili mo sa labas, calling card. If you are willing to sacrifice away from home, then ikaw na ang makakasagot nun. Number two question, are you ready to work long time? I mean, long hour? 24 hours? Joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi naman. Pero parang ganun na rin. Based on my experience, nag-work kami 10 to 16 hours minsan. But, everyday long hours talaga. At no day off. Yes, no day off. And depende pa yon pag operation area ka. Pag nasa operation ka, expect mo na lang ang mga overtime ka talaga, especially holidays. Christmas, New Year, or kung ano pa mga holidays ng mga pasahero nyo. If you want to work in cruise ship, kalimutan mo muna ang 8 hours na standard time nung nasa land-based ka pa. Kasi pag sea-based, I'm sorry, hindi talaga yan mangyayari. Siguro kung may rank ko ka like captain, staff captain, or yung mga matataas, mga siguro ganun pwede pa. Pero, 
it's based on my experience, I never experienced 8 hours working per normal day. Never. Pag nasa bar ko ka na, wala na talagang weekends. I'm sorry, wala nang Sunday, wala nang Saturdays. Kasi, everyday Monday. Kasi nga, wala kang day off. Wala tayong day off. At makakalimutan mo talaga kung anong araw. Hindi makakalimutan mo kung Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, ganun. At pag may nagtatanong sa'yo, um, anong araw ba bukas? At alam mo, ano isang sagot mo? Yung lugar. For example, may isashare ako sa'yo. For example, today is Monday. So, ngayon, nasa Barcelona kayo. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Nasa Italy kayo. Wednesday is Sea Day. Thursday is pangalawang Sea Day. And Friday is Portugal. Pag gusto mo magtanong sa mga kasama mo, for example, ngayon, Monday, so which is Barcelona, magtatanong ka, Ah, be or bes, ano bang araw bukas? Ang sasagot mo, bukas? Uh, Italy. Ganon. Kasi, makakalimutan nyo talaga yung araw, I swear. Kasi, bakit mo naman iisipin yung araw, eh, wala naman din kayong day off. Kasi, everyday, Monday. Number three question. Are you good in following rules? Like any other job, there are rules and regulations talaga ang dapat i-follow. But, yes, meron din ganun sa barko. And, napaka-trick ng rules and regulations sa barko. There are rules na pag hindi mo nasunod once, I'm sorry. Finish na. Your next port is airport. Pero, pag maganda yung performance mo, depende lang sa department, the department head mo, pag maganda yung for a performance mo, minsan hili, hinihila ka nila. Hinihila ka nila para hindi matagal but mostly talaga, pag hindi mo na-abide yung rule ng barko, isuuwi ka talaga. For example, alcohol policy. Pinaka-pinaka-strict talaga ang alcohol policy. Kasi, pag onboard ka at on duty ka, 0-0% talaga yung alcohol. Pag on duty ka, 0.05 lang. For example, nag-duty ka at lasing ka or kahit hindi ka lasing, tapos may naamoy sa iyo mga amo mo at pinabluetooth ka pinapunta ka sa ospital at positive ka. Pag impake ka na lang, uuwi ka talaga. Aww. My next question, are you willing to follow safety and security procedures? Safety is our top priority and passengers is our top priority. Pag nagtrabaho ka na sa barko, as a crew member, we are part of the safety team. And passenger life is our top priority. Safety is very important. Tayo kasi yung nagli sa mga passengers to their master station, to their lifeboat in case of emergency. We should be their savior at nagre-rely ang mga pasahe Kaya, yung safety, trainings, and drills is dapat-dapat talaga nasa puso at isip natin. Kasi yun ang pinaka-pinaka-importante sa ship life. Kaya nga, sa lahat ng mga seafarer, bago sumampa, dami-dami na pinagdaanan ng mga trainings. Kaya, pag unang sampa mo, wala kang iba munang gagawin. Kasi, meron direct link introduction of safety and security. Lahat mong mga safety, safety, safety na kailangan mong gawin, mostly binibigay at or pinapatin sa'yo on your first day. So, are you good in following that? And, pending trainings is a must. Drill is a must. Malate ka lang sa trabaho mo, huwag lang sa training mo. Kasi, napaka-stricto ng training talaga sa barko. Dapat mo talagang atinan. Hindi ka pwedeng mag, ay, masakit ang ulo ko, nilalag na ako. No. Only the doctor can tell that you cannot attend because you are sick. Hindi pwede tayong magsabi na, ah, nalate ako kasi na, hindi ako nagising, nalate ako ganun. No. You have to come and training 5 minutes or 10 minutes before the training time. Okay? Kaya, pag may drill, huwag kang uminom ng a night before. Baka hindi ka magising, your next port will be airport. <laughs> Joke lang. Hindi naman ganun kalala. Kasi, papatawag ka talaga sa breed. And, depende na sila sa kanila kung anong desisyon nila sa'yo. Kaya, kung first time recap, please be careful and be watchful for your safety trainings. Okay? My next question to you is, do you wanna save a money? When you work in cruise ship, you can save money, yes. Kasi, almost libre na money. Your breakfast is free. Your lunch, your dinner is free. Sometimes, meron pang snack is free. Electricity is free. Your laundry is free. The water is free. Iron is free. So, maraming libre. Pare-pareho lang kinain mo sa loob ng barko. Mauumay ka talaga, yes. Totoo talaga, yes. Kaya, gusto mong lumabas, gusto mong bumili ng pagkain, ayun, hindi na yung libre. So, kasi naiisip, minsan, ako, ako, based on my experience na iisip ko na, ay, total, libre naman lahat sa loob ng barko. Siguro, it's time for me to unwind myself, to give back to myself. Gusto kong kumain. Lalo na pag may makikita kang Filipino food, naku, 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 ang sarap talagang kumain. Alam mo, hindi mo na-inhine yung 10 euro, 10 euro, 15 euro. 
ang laki na nun pag nasa ika-convert mo sa Pilipinas. Pero, pag makakita ka na ng pagkain na love Filipino food, ay, ang sarap talagang kumain. Kaya doon, depende sa'yo kung bibili ka or maa-attempt ka. Kung gusto mo lang kumain, okay lang naman. Normal lang talaga yun once a week, ganun. But, if you want to go on mall, if you are kind of saving money, nasa sa'yo na yan. Kung gusto mo bumili. Kasi, pag nasa mall, mall ka na, I swear, ang daming mura, ang daming magaganda. At kasi, syempre, di ba, yung ilang days kang nakatambay sa barko at total, wala ka namang binibili. So, maa-attend ka talagang bumili. Depende na yun sa'yo. So, I will ask this question sa inyo of how you will handle your money. Okay? At saka sa barko naman, meron din tayong tinatawag na crew bar. Pag gusto mong uminom ng beer, ng alak, ayun, ayun nga. But, wag na pasobra kasi bawal yun. Pero, hindi yan siya libre. So, nasa sa'yo na yan. Paano mo i-spend time yung pera mo? Baka, ma-surprise ka na lang one day, yung one month na sahod mo, na ubos kasi sa araw-araw na sa crew bar. Pero, hindi lahat. Depende sa'yo. That's why I asked you, are you willing to save money? My next question is, do you like customer service? If you want to work in a hospitality industry, like, ikaw yung frontliner, kumbaga, do you enjoy customer service? Kasi, mostly sa mga pasahero natin, they think that customer are always right. Iba-iba talaga yung mga pasahero. Iba-ibang nationality, iba-ibang ugali. So, are you good in enjoying customer service? Kasi, mostly sa kanila, they expect more. They want to feel that they are the king and queen. All throughout the year, nagtatrabaho yan sila. Pag babakasyon sa cruise ship, it's they will spend a lot of money. So, they will expect from you that they can get the good service from you. Sa mga Filipino talaga, no question. Ang ganda po nating magbigay ng servisyo. Nangiti at may puso. Sa ating mga pasayap. ba diba, sa bahay natin, pag may mga bisita tayo, grabe alaga. So, ano na lang kaya pag mag-aalaga tayo na may bayad? Pero, depende na yun sa'yo. If you are enjoying this kind of customer service. 98% talaga sa mga pasahero, sa mga guests, are absolutely nice. And 2% of them are not nice. 2% will really piss you off. If you are a kind of person na madaling madisappoint, so ngayon pa lang, kung gusto mong magtrabaho sa barko, bawas-bawasan mo na yung mga ganon. As much as possible, be nice to your passengers kasi huwag ka mag-alala. Next cruise, next week, hindi mo na yan sila makikita. Sana, minsan magagalit tayo sa mga pasahero. We cannot please everybody to be nice to us, okay? Kasi yung mga pasahero, nag-expect sila na good service from you, kaya konting kibot lang, minsan nagagalit talaga sila. Kaya, taasan natin ang ating mga pasensya. Well, anyway, pag galit ka or may kainis ka, punta ka na lang sa crew bar, iinom mo na lang yan, okay? My follow-up question is, do you have patience? So, parang konektado pa rin siya dun sa isa na you are enjoying customer service. Do you have patience? Working in cruise ship is small but big environment. Nasasabi kong big kasi iba-iba yung personality na makikita. Personality of the guest and personality of your co-worker. It is going to be a stressful environment and your patience will be tested. Kung mahaba talaga yung pasensya mo, then it's not hard for you. Pero kung mababa ang pasensya mo, ngayon pa lang, i-practice mo na siyang taasan konti. Okay? And this brings to my next question. How well can you handle stress? Working in a cruise ship is a go-go environment. It's a fast-paced environment. It's a stressful environment. You cannot please all the people. You cannot please all the guests. Lalo na pag nasa situation kayo na busy, you are in an operation. So how you will handle the stress? Some of your colleagues will get blah, 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 blah. Darating talaga na ganun yung mangyayari. So how well you can handle your stress? My next question is, how do you handle your necessity needs? Pagkatapos ba ng trabaho mo, are you a kind of person na gusto manood ng TV or gusto mag-watch ng movies, gusto mag-bike, gusto mag-skating, gusto mag-karaok, gusto magbasa ng libro? But you have to think, pag nagtatrabaho ka sa barko, you cannot bring all the necessities you want. Kasi yung baggage allowance is limited lang. So you have to think that what you will bring on the ship is what you need. So if you love watching movies, lagay mo na lahat ng mga movies na gusto mong panoorin sa isang buong kontrata ay talagay mo doon at yun lang yung dalhin mo. Huwag na yung mga DVD, CD, CD, ganun. So, if you love reading book, da just download the, the books what you want to read in tablet or in a phone and bring it on board. Huwag ka magdala ng maraming libro kasi yung baggage allowance mo ay kulang talaga pag magdadala ka ng madami. And my last question to you is, what job you really want to do 
when you work in career shift. Kung hindi ka pa nakakapag-decide, well, I will give you some informations of what you can do in career shift. Actually, there are a lot of works in career shift. Deck department, IT department, bar department, bartender, bar waiter, barista, sommelier, housekeeping department, cleaner, cabin steward, entertainment department, singer, pianist, soloist, dancer, casino, dealer, shore excursion, art gallery, gift shop, there are plenty shops on board, sports specialist, there are a lot of guests who want to do sports when they are on board, nurse, doctor, spa and fitness, and so many more na pwede niyong magawa sa barko. Isipin mo land-based hotel. Kung ano yung mga tatrabaho sa hotel in land-based, mas more pa sa cruise ship. Now learn if what job you really want to do in cruise ship. And ask yourself, is cruise ship is really meant for me? Am I prepared enough emotionally and physically? If all of my questions are yes, then you are very, very, very capable to work in cruise ship. Some of your answers are no, then you have to work on it. So sa mga nagtatrabaho na sa barko and you encounter this kind of problem, problems, stress in your life and sa mga gusto pang magtrabaho sa barko and you feel uncomfortable, feel new, parang hindi mo kaya, just go back to the main reason why you want to work on cruise ship. Motivate yourself. You want to give your family a good life. You want to travel the world and you want to prove to someone that you can do it and that you can make it. Just always remember, your dream is bigger than your fears. So that's all for today. Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na to, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga next video. If you have some questions, clarifications, just feel free to comment down below para masagot ko ang mga katanungan nyo. So that's all for today. Hope you like it and hope to see you again. Goodbye!